Good afternoon, it's currently Saturday the 29th of January and we are going to go camping this afternoon and I thought it would be a good idea to uh, do a little tour of the disco because it's at a point where it's ready for a long trip now um, so I thought I'd sort of show you around it and how we plan on travelling in it. We are actually camping this evening but I'm going to clean the truck now because it's quite messy and dirty so I thought for the tour wherever I can have it looking quite nice. Uh, so I'm just bumped to Gemma and Chris's now uh, and I don't think you've seen Chris's truck on YouTube since we went to the Isle of which is years ago when I had the Freelander. Hey yeah, it's young boy! What is going on? Yeah, yeah. we're here! Well, well. well uh, I'm just um, dusting the plant. Gosh. cleaned uh, so now I'm just gonna pack it we're probably gonna get to the campsite about seven o'clock so it's gonna be dark so I don't know how much I'll film but I want to do a time lapse because it's meant to be clear skies tonight I think that look pretty good I mean it's clear skies and blue skies right now so we'll see how that goes but for now I just gotta pack it up the back is actually reasonably tidy uh, I do have this issue when I wore the car though that it does seem to come inside which is fine um, but I literally just gotta pack and then uh, we're all set. We are now uh, headed to camp. It's currently 10 to 6, so we should get there about half six, seven. And yeah, so we're on a route. We're now at camp with the Toyota and the Disco. Uh, so we are now going to be setting up camp, but I'm probably just going to time lapse it all because it's, it's really dark and I'm currently using Chris as, as my light. So uh, I'll set up a time lapse and we'll see you at some point. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's cold as fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit harder than before. Here you go. Oh, my fingers are cold. Oh, my tap is frozen. <laughs> ah. Yeah, and I can't get any more water because my tap's frozen. Good morning, it's now actually about quarter to 12. Uh, we've just sort of been chilling, uh, we've got a fire going, had breakfast and just sort of chilled out because the weather is lovely. It doesn't feel like winter, it's currently about five or six degrees but it's really warm with the sun. But I'm just gonna show you around the, uh, the setup. So here it is. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work the way up to the top. On the bottom, I just got some standard steel modulars. 
with uh, BF Goodrich 265-7516-KO2s. Underneath as well I've got a galvanised chassis on there as well which I've done an entire different video on you can watch but underneath we got a two inch lift kit with just a Britpart Super Gaz kit which I am probably going to change because the rear shocks are knackered but they are medium duty and with all the weight now I probably could do with heavy duty but yeah it's on a gal chassis uh, if you haven't seen that video go check it out because it was a good one on the front end I've just got a steel winch bumper haven't got a winch for it yet but this is a Dixon Fabrications bumper uh, the work is really good but the powder coating is shit it's really bad it's basically like chipping it was pretty much chipping as soon as I got it and flaking off so let's get it out powder coated but I love the kind of the fat lip look of it I quite like that so I will get a winch in the future and I also had to get two new genuine lights because my lights were knackered and I couldn't get any second hand ones so they're just genuine lights and with the bumper I've got the standard fogs which came with it um, the ship brackets but I had them tinted uh, by Shep so yeah that kind of that's the front end I got a safari snorkel as well and there's lots of aftermarket ones but I just wanted to go for the sort of original snorkel as such so I went for a safari one and I just it looks so good it looks expedition ready just with the snorkel on it nothing's really changed on the inside of the front of the car uh, I've just got some terraform seat covers um, I don't know why they just they're quite nice and they kind of keep it a bit warmer as well a lot of the seats are ripped or well, both seats are ripped down the front so these just sort of cover that um, I need to get some new gaiters and stuff just a cheap eBay mount CB nothing really special in here so going into the back of the car this is the camp setup which I have shown a little bit before but I'll go a bit more in depth this time so you can kind of see um, I've only got half the roof lining because the plan is um, to make this all wood so I've just got some insulation up there I use dodo mat and it works really well I've got insulation under the front bit as well and uh, just had Rob basically redo the headliner on the front which I love it it's sort of a dark grey works really well with the light grey trim um, but yeah this is the bed so on the back door gonna have a drop down table haven't got that far yet but I've just mounted my knife just somewhere accessible and it's just a standard Gerber knife uh, we've got a little uh, strap here this is just like a five pound Amazon job basically so when we're sleeping in it because this door is so heavy you can just pull on it and it will shut so works really well uh, just for a quick easy job anyway so the top section we use for mainly the uh, pots and pans we've got the dual gas cooker in there it's sort of all chucked in there at the moment but um, it's pretty much how it sits anyway got a wash bowl in there as well which is basically just got like the utensils and stuff just to stop them from rattling about and just a, a wash bag that has like the um, salt and pepper and things like that in it so that is the top underneath we have sort of the the tea section as such which has got the jet boil cups tea tea bags sugar everything that you need to make a brew these two back sections bit of a mess that's just got blankets in it at the moment and that's got all like the sort of ropes and stuff for the awning and things like that and there's a hammock uh, there's the mallet everything like that to sort of set up the outside gear um, but this is the most exciting one it's the food cupboard it's, it's a mess it's always really tidy whenever we set off um, but it is just gets chucked about so mainly porridge and pot noodles and soba noodles and things like that so that's that section and then up front of the bed if I just fall in we do have what we did call the camera section which is under there it's a bit of a mess it doesn't really close well with the foam um, but that's sort of where we store the cameras um, we, we don't really use it so when I go to bed the cameras pretty much stay with me now on this side, this is the newest addition. We got a Chillmaster Land Trekker fridge. There's a 40 litre fridge. Uh, I literally got it the other week, last week. Um, so I just stuck a load of stickers on it. Got it from Lucy Land Rover. Um, and I made this quick temporary platform because obviously this wasn't here. We had a cool box which sat just in there, but this is quite a bit bigger, so we couldn't do that. So I had to make temporary platform. It's pretty solid. Um, it does rattle about a little bit, but 
like I said, it's only temporary, so we just sort of wanted to see if this sort of style would work. Underneath is where we store, or will store, all the drinks and stuff like that, and maybe some snacks. Easily accessible, maybe some camera gear as well. I did have my tripod in there that I could just pull out nice and easily. And underneath, we've got axes and, and everything like that, axes, hatchets, got a bottle jack, uh, extension bar, and yeah, that's pretty much anything long um, I could fit under there. And just to the right of the fridge, I got a inverter, which is a bit worse for wear now. It's a bit rattly, as you can hear, it's not very good. Um, and the plug sockets as well, too small um, for plugs. The plugs don't really fit in it, they kind of just sit there and sometimes they'll fall out. So it's not great, that will be changing in the future. And in this door, I've just got to get the tent cover out of the way. This is a bit more, <laughs> it's a bit, bit of a faff um, to get out of the way. Just kind of got to hold it with your head. In this section is where the battery is for the dual battery, just in the back there. Uh, I've got a spare wheel bearing there as well. And underneath, uh, once again, anything long that needs to fit under there, I've got a drag link under there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That does lift up as well if I move the foam. Never needed to, so hopefully it stays that way. So that's the camper setup uh, pretty much just gone over. Uh, I will, in the future, like I said, there's gonna be wood up here, so this is all gonna be covered. The wires that are just hanging there, they will be re-secured as well. Um, I just haven't had a chance yet. And sort of just keep the tea towel there. There's some more wilder tea towel. And the curtains as well, which I did show last video. They just basically, that is it with them down. And that is what it's like when they're rolled up. That is the back setup. Oh, and of course, that flips out. We move the foam underneath and that's on a hinge down the side and that just flips out. It's the size of a small double or just less than a small double. So on the back of the door we do have a trash roo. Uh, I did have the bin bag that Shep made which is actually currently on the Toyota. But uh, that one is a bit broken and this one's quite a bit bigger. So we've been using this, uh, we'll probably change between the two. It's just got some patches on there and we've got a cross threaded one, Treasury of Sea, Overland Journal and All Terrain Collective. So yeah, it's just a bit bigger. Chuck all the washing in there, like washing up and um, bin bag and everything like that, including light guards, which goes onto the bumper. The bumper is fucked. <laughs> It's just a standard Disco 2 bumper, hangs really low. It's all cracked up there so much that the light doesn't actually fit in it anymore, it just falls out. And this light on the other side, quick releases. So I am in line of getting a Dirt Monkey off-road one, which actually has the extended legs. So basically it cuts along there, That that is gone and the bumper sits there a nice steel bit so that's the plan in the near future moving up to the roof rack starting from the front we got some maypole spotlights up there i don't know the specs of them but they're really good that's all i know and they do have drls down the sides it's not wired up yet but they do give it a good look and they're just on like a standard disco 2 light bar which is not really secure but is anything uh, and then on the top of the roof rack, just got two front runner wolf pack boxes and a 42 litre uh, front runner water container, which is extremely overpriced, but it's the only thing I could find that sort of suits what we need it for. And it literally just runs down on the hose on the front there, just runs straight down and goes to the tap, which is screwed onto the light bar. Voila. So on the side of the roof rack, we've got the Land Trekker 270 awning which is, I just I just love it, it's so good. I don't use it that often though. This is probably the third time we've used it out on a trip, maybe the second time, mainly because it's a bit of a sail. So when it's windy, you don't really want it out. Obviously you can tie it down, but uh, we went on a whales trip and one of them did bend. Some had a similar awning and it did bend and snap the hinge up there because it got quite windy during the night. So just a bit paranoid about that. But yeah, got it in the, the beige as well as the roof tent, which is the uh, latest roof rack edition, which is a Latitude uh, Wimbrel roof tent. So this is also in the tan. We haven't opened the windows because um, it's, it's been quite cold, but uh, it just looks so good. And it's so much space inside compared to the back of there. So 
So here's inside, bit of a mess. It's just so good and also with it being tan, it's really light inside. We've got the sunroof open as well and there's just so much space. It's, I don't know what the size of it is. Uh, I think it's a, a double or maybe a, a king size, I'm not sure, but so much room. Um, and that back one opens as well. Uh, that opens up and the windows open on the sides as well. That's the disco setup all gone through. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, if you've got any suggestions or, or anything like that, feel free to comment them below. And yeah, I will try and update you guys more often on what I do with it. Like I said, I'm getting a new rear bumper at some point soon, hopefully. And the drop down table as well, which will be really good. And I think those are the two things that I need to get before we can properly do a big trip in it, which we've got planned later this year. So pretty keen on that, but that, that's the disco tour. So thanks for watching.